Hello and welcome, dearest. I'm Grandma Mimsy, and today I am doing these um, absolutely adorable nail art stickers that uh, I got from Maniology. And if you want to search them in, uh, type in this information in the back, and they should come up. They'll probably also come up if you search under new items. These are super cute, and I hope they keep them uh, available year round. And because I really like these a lot. Um, I want to say they're three or four dollars, take or give or take somewhere in that price range, and they're super easy to use. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that, and I already did one, and they're reflective and have such an interesting sheen to them. It is just, oh my gosh. Anyway, um, how you use them, and they are a little delicate and kind of can be interesting to get off but once you kind of get the hang of it then it's not a problem and i love these i cannot tell you how many times i have been pulling from them since i unboxed them from the box of cheer oh uh, excuse me wrong season <laughs> box of magic sorry the box of cheer is on my mind because that's the next thing coming up really soon i'm pretty sure anyway um so essentially you want to figure out where you're gonna take your um, sticker. And I'm gonna do the little um, ghost one on top of that. So uh, first step is to paint your polish. And we're gonna do that. I'm just running out of room. Because I got so many projects and things I've been working on and well we get a little discombobulated and nutty professor and all that neat stuff so there's that okay um, and like I said this the ring nail thingy fits on this empty bottle and hey it was like the perfect thing to do so you want to paint your sticky polish which is what I would recommend on your nail or your tips first and let that have a minute and that is the sticky base coat B384 so paint that oh well klutz happens so paint that on your nail natural nail nail tip however you want to work paint that first and let give that a minute to kind of do its thing and then ever so gently and carefully you're going to remove your sticker and these are I'm trying to do this where you can see where I'm at you got to find the edge of where it is there we go See why I like these fine little ones? They just so delicately pick up things. So nifty. And see if we can do this multi-handed here. And then you apply your sticker. And here's the other reason why I like this. Then you can use this to kind of push it down a little and then the because the instructions say to apply the polish uh, or gel base color and let dry select a design and carefully remove it with tweezers apply sticker to the nail and gently push down to remove the air bubbles and then cover the entire nail in polish or gel top coat to seal the design so then we're going to um, my suggestion, take your stamper and go over it because then you will get that smooth finish and it won't mush up if you're being delicately and kind of doing the, the, the removal of that. And so there's how that looks. And then we want to do a top coat. To seal it all in so I recommend 
the water base one. Hope you can see. And then after that is done drying, then I recommend a completely different because this is the smudge free top coat and that makes things kind of, it's water based so it won't mess up your stickers and then do the top coat. See, and I love that how they're, they have different hues, but it won't mess up your sticker and slide things around because it's designed to not do that. And then to make it hard and seal in, you want another layer of a, a different type of top top coat or something. Or you could use another sheer polish. And they have many polishes that are actual polishes that are very, very sheer to give it some sort of hint of something. Um, or an actual stamping polish. I recommend Retrograde has a, a you know, do this on a, on a darker background and then you'll get that hollow effect from Retrograde. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, but it's like the ghost, if you turn it a certain way, it looks blue and gray. And then it picks up the orange and has the other little silvery things. And then the, the fire one has the, the green and the orange and, you know, looks like it's under the cauldron. I mean, just, oh my gosh, these are super cute and adorable. And I won't be wearing them on my natural nails. <laughs> I don't think until I have to, I'm going to have to buy like 900 sets of these because I change my nails so often. Um, yeah, it would just be a shame to be able to, I'm probably have to get some of the, this, the peely stuff and put it on <laughs> so that I can reuse them. Um, hmm. That's an idea. It just, it just hit me while I was doing that, but I just think these are super stinking cute. And maniology, <laughs> keep them, <laughs> keep them in stock. This particular design, these colors, this, you know, reorder them all the time, not just Halloween, but year round. Cause you know, they have other things that you can use. I mean, I like the hearts on that and the magic wands and the, the wreath and the planets. You could do these completely all the time not just um, during a Halloween. So yeah, all the time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please be kind. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yay. Yeah, we were working on some stuff for um, other things and we, we kind of messed up on a few things, but that's okay. We can redo them. And um, Hint, hint. <laughs> I got some, so many things I was working on today. It was just mind. So yeah, stay tuned. We, we have more surprises. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for following. Thank you for liking and all the, the little happy things that you do in there. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you and for all of your encouragement and comments and suggestions. So. I got a lot more videos and ideas for you. See you later. Bye.